Hello, welcome. This is not a demo. Made by one guy. Yeah, this game was created by YouTube Chen. I don't know the last name, I'm not going to say it, because I'll fuck it up. Independently through Unreal Engine, so it's an Unreal Engine game, so that's cool. It's not a formal game, no story, it's boring, don't get your hopes up, uh, work in progress. Uh, apparently it started off as a, a design challenge or a game challenge on Billy Billy, which is your, your Chinese equivalent um, social media thing over there. I think it's equivalent to YouTube or something. And um, I think... I think it was like he had to make a zombie game in like half an hour or something. So he did this and... Yeah. He kept working on it. He actually lists on the Steam page how much it cost, how much time, uh, how much time he spent in Unreal. Apparently, uh, on Billy Billy, if you search for Unreal 4 tutorials, here's the one on the top. And the reason why I wanted to do this video is not because um, it does have some sexual content in it, um, just revealing stuff. Typical dude bro, let's look at um, big titties and shit. Um, there are so many demos that I see where the Steam page says, oh, it's a one-person team, it's a two-person team. Um, in my honest opinion, that really doesn't justify some of the shit that I've seen. Um, not to say that all of them are, but you can't just use that as an excuse. We have an FOV slider. So... We have full controls. We have a nice settings menu. We have a guide. So this is all great. This is awesome. Um, frame limit, 120, 150, 180. I've got a 175, so I'll leave it at 120. Not that it'll actually make a difference to the video at all. Camera shaking, I want camera shaking off. Um, game difficulty can stay. Cool. All right, it runs smooth. Um, but yeah, we're just going to play with this just for a little bit. Easy. Normal skillful nightmare random. We'll start with easy because we just want to have a look at it. Yeah, it's completely free. Um, oh, look, it's back rooms. Um, so we'll start with highway and then I want to check out back rooms. So yeah, those are some funky physics. Alright, so... Do we have a... I don't know if this is going to be okay for... I'm going to click it. I'll see what happens. If YouTube gets too angry. Uh, it's pretty tame. I mean, I've seen some... I've seen some... Half-decent... Uh, things... On, like, Black Desert or whatever. So, look at that. So, full character creator and everything. I mean... This one's shoes is fixed, you can't change them. That's right, we'll go to default. Look, I'm going to go to default. I'll go there. Look, this is the Unreal guy. This is one that was on that other game that I looked at. Um... Or was it the last escape? Same dude. It's mod. Can we put him in that? Oh no, we can't. Oh, okay, so it's just mod is literally the mods. Cool. Okay, and sweet, sweet. It's uh, you know, um, what is it? Watchdogs iconic. Fuck Ubisoft. So yeah, cool. All right. Muzzle and optics. Suppressor. Yeah, why not? Red dot. Yep, cool. Or EO tech. We got red dot. Start. Scavenger. You get a level where players get familiar with the game's control, shooting field, get familiar with all the behaviors and speed of the zombies, laying a foundation, subsequent battles. Yeah. Alright, so quick flash. Looks like W A S D. Yep. Cool. 
Chapter 1, highways. Quick sweep through the level. Sweet. Kill all the zombies you see. Alright, let's have a look back this way. How big the level is. Oh, stamina bar, bottom right hand corner. 31 out of 30, full. I can jump. I can aim. Sweet. So yeah. So, this is, this is the benchmark. A soft benchmark that I use to look at when someone says to me, yes, but this game I made on my own, or I made with two people. Um, not an excuse at all. Especially if you're selling a product. If you're selling a product, you're asking for money, uh, you better be prepared, because most people will not just say, oh yeah, feel sorry for me, I'm a single person, I can't, I can't put all those features in, or I'm not going to do whatever. Sorry, I'm rambling now, I'm trying to focus. The gunplay's okay, and it looks like they, um, he's got the headshot stuff in there as well, which is cool. So that big dude I've seen before, so these must be stock assets, and I'm seeing them again. I've seen them in other games. Stock assets are fine, I don't have a problem with it. But if your entire game is stock assets, and you're trying to sell it, it's not good. Okay, cool. Pickups. E, yep. Sweet. Intuitive. As in, E's usually the global standard for picking up. Same as R for reload. Again, just finished playing a demo where I had to go into the inventory, select the piece of ammo, then select reload. Which is just stupid. Alright, so we need to go up here. So the level design is in a way where it actually guides you. Sort of. So there is a path up here. It looks really good. That's a nice rock. This guy has a big rock. It's nice and hard and firm. It's gorgeous. One left, and it also shows me where it is too. Beautiful. So like Path of Exile and Diablo and all that, when you start getting a few left, it'll show you where they are. I like that. 69, nice. Very nice. Alright, I want to check out the back rooms one. Oh, it's in thingy. Alright, I remember what they were called. See, I don't mind that because the menu is very easy. Again, I, I was just recently playing another demo where I had where the de where they had three play buttons that all did something different. And a whole heap of menus that just made no sense. Okay, this is completely different. So, how does this work? there, buddy. Yeah. 
Okay, is he going to hit me if I walk past him? Yep. I fell through the wall. Okay. Ah, oh, that was meant to happen. Ah, oh, that's a cool introduction to this. Red line. Q, R, T, Z, X, C, V. C is crouch. Oh god. Oh, I've seen that before. Let's go up. C for crouch. Oh, I can hear something nasty. Oh. Yep, let's go in here. You coming this way? Let's stay this side of the wall. Is that the... that is the real date and time. That's cool. Little things like that. Alright, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, there's another one in here. Right there. Alright, I'm not going to go that way anymore. Alright, I'm genuinely spooked. I don't want to go in that room. The room looks scary. He's in there. I don't have many options. I'm going to have to go into the blinking room. I don't really want to do that. Alright, can we see down the hall? We can. I don't see anything though. Don't know what that does. Tab and I don't work. Do I? Oh, damn. Oh, no. Escape doesn't bring me back. Does this bring me back? Ah. Oh. Sorry, I can't translate that. I don't know what that means. I was hoping that was going to be cancel. Shit. Okay. Alright, we'll try another map. Because that was genuinely spooky. Um, let's look at this one. That's fine. Actually, let's play. Let's play school girl. Um, grab this one. That's the silencer, and this is the scope. 
That'll do. See, because everything's laid out the same, it's easy to navigate, even if there's no text. So, you stick with... Stick with one format. Don't break the mold. There's no need to reinvent the wheel. That's why rarities are all the same colour. And people get angry when they're not. 50 zombies. Alright, is there anything behind us? You always check behind you. Ooh. The breathing is pretty good. I'm sure someone will get off on that. Ooh, the bullets interact with the door. And it doesn't automatically close behind them either. That was a problem I had in some other games. Right, let's check out. good sound design because you can hear them coming you can hear them breathing you can hear them making noise same with that back rooms one genuinely scared the crap out of me didn't even didn't even counter anything properly but still all right sounds like there's someone nearby in the grass close Headshot. Alright, let's go sweep around the back. Anything in the garage? There's some ammo. See, really, all you needed to do is make the level a little bit bigger. Add some drops. Make the zombies, like, constantly spawn. You got yourself an action roguelite. With, um... Decent graphics and physics and everything. Easy. Well, not easy. I shouldn't say that. I am not a developer. Oh, man. The feedback you get for it, too, is fantastic. Those bullets. When I shot that guy through the door. Yeah, I like this. This is cool. Yeah. Oh, big dude. See ya. Damn. Impact sound changes if you're shooting wood. Alright, 
so we got eight left. Yeah, this is cool. I like this. This is really good. It's completely free. Zero dollars. It's not even listed as a demo either. So I just happened to stumble across this when I was looking at some free-to-play games. Because I'm a cheap shit and uh, paying for games is somewhat annoying. Especially in this economy. And also with the AAA optimizations, quote unquote, that um, just don't get done. I can't be bothered going through the. Can't be bothered going through all the BS that's required to get refunds and shit. Especially if everything's working fine and then there's a sudden problem because of a driver issue or something. Five left. There's a couple over there. See if there's any in here. Doesn't sound like it. I'll finish this up and then we'll finish the video up. That's one in there, one in there, one in there. I like that. I appreciate it when you have those little bits of, um, little help. So it's like, yeah, you've got one enemy left and it's like, you can't, you don't know where it is. So you go around and around and around and you get frustrated. See so ya. Yeah. There you go. 120. Pretty sure that's the main menu. It is. Alright, so that's Deathly Stillness. Really, really good. Single dude. Um, I think... Is it this button? Yeah, there he is there. So that's the dude. Uh, go to the Steam page. Read the stuff. Um, he's a... Uh, he does lectures for Unreal, from what I can understand on the Steam page. Um, and he's got stuff on Billy Billy, so I'm sure he's got stuff on YouTube as well. Uh, completely free game. So yes, if I go through your demo and you get angry at me because I say bad things and your demo is bad, um, and then you try to use the excuse that, oh, I am one person or we're only a two-man team, I'm going to point you to this demo. I'm going to you, point you to this game. I'm going to point you to this video because that's not an excuse. Not if you're trying to sell a product because if you're trying to sell a product and you want money for the thing that you make, uh, people are going to expect quality, especially with how people are getting screwed over with AAA studios doing their thing as they do rushing shit out. It, it, if... if People are going to get pissed off with AAA Studios not making the, the right decisions. Um, if you're a solo developer, you don't have that restriction. You don't have a publisher breathing down your neck telling you that you need to ship a game within one to two years. Uh, you've, you manage your own time. You manage your own skill set. You manage everything. So you don't have the excuse that you're a solo dev, solo dev or, or a two-man team or whatever. Um, if you're going to make a product and you're going to make it the way you want to, then it better be what you say it is. And there are expectations that customers are going to have, um, like a settings menu and widescreen support and more than 30 frames and a, a menu that you can navigate that's easy, intuitive and makes sense and doesn't change all the time. So, but, yeah. Cool game. You should play it. At least have a tinker. It's fun. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.